Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to show you how to implement a truth table using the min terms. I'll also briefly include the max term solution and mention it as well, but in another video, we'll specifically address that. As you see, we have here a three variable truth table with an output variable F. So the inputs are ABC, the output is F. And you'll notice we have eight rows since we have three variables, two to the two to the n, so two to the third are eight different combinations of a, b, c. So for so this truth table represents all possible combinations of a, b, and c. Notice that uh, we've indicated the desired value for f for each row. Remembering where do we get f? f is given to us by our customer, or as I like to say, we get it from God, uh, because your customer is effectively God. Uh, each row does have a min term and a max term associated with it. Uh, so if we look at each row, we can write the min terms and max terms. However, in this case, we're going to do the min term solution, so we're just going to use the min terms. So we'll forget the max terms for a minute. Now, when we want to write the representation for f, we only use the min terms where the, the rows where f is one. And then we take the min terms from those rows and we arrange them basically in any order we want. We or them together, that's indicated by the plus sign. And of course, the multiplication implied here is, is the anding. So these are and terms or together. Thus, for a min term solution, you only need the min terms from the rows where f equals one. Now for the max term solution, notice we have or input gates and one big and gate for the output, as opposed to and input gates and one or gate for the output. And here, we're using the max terms from the rows where f equals zero. And you notice in this particular case, since there were four rows where f equals one, and there were eight rows, that meant four rows where f equals zero. Obviously, it doesn't have to work out that way, but in this case, it did. So this shows you how we can take a truth table and implement it uh, with the min terms, or for that matter, with the max terms.